Hey everyone, it's Char from Char's Fashion Nation. Uh, I really would like to know how you guys like this setup better. Because I know that you can see me over here. Um, but being like, I don't have to have it like right up in your face. Um, I can bring it closer. Ooh, let me show you what I got done this morning. Um, for my Fabric Mart challenge piece. This morning, I did sew that pocket together. So, all the seam mark on the inside there. Um, I do like how the hem came out. Yeah, there's a little white showing, whatever. That, that's gonna not be there when I gotta tack it down onto the garment itself. Am I worried about that? No. So my thing is, with my Singer Heavy Duty 4452, that's Death Wish Coffee right there. <laughs> and right there. Um, on here is my serger stitch. I've said this before, but I mostly keep it on my serger stitch in the I really need new glasses. The S1 position. I'm seriously going blind. Um, so I hope I can sew for a very long time before all of it just, you know. Um, so basically that's what I keep it on. I, I really have to be like this anymore to see what I'm doing. So hopefully in August... But you'll have to excuse my double rib cage. I was born with two rib cages in the front. And I, it gives me a complex. Um, so, yeah. I really and seriously hope that you guys like this setup better. Not just with the table. I mean, I'm working on something over here for a friend. Um... And to me, it kind of looks like some sort of funky braca. Um, but it's part of a suiting, but it's waterproof. And um, whatever. Um, <laughs> it is what it is. I'm just going to say you guys are all like, no, it's not. We know what that is. Now, why would I, for the public, want to, does that look like that fits a face? That's too big. Okay, too big. Too big. Um, so, even if it was, I wouldn't tell you. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I have to finish sewing this. Um, and then, uh, on to this, which oh, I have so, such high expectations for this. Let me put that over there. Um, just perfect. The ended perfect. Uh, so I have my cutting table out, which is also great for doing pinning, um, yeah, absolutely. Uh, so, I was having problems connecting to the internet back here, but I figured that's whatever. Whatever. I can always go out there to the office and, and upload my videos. It's no big deal. It doesn't hurt me any. Although I do like to listen to some of the free audio books on YouTube. Um... I have been listening to the book of Enoch. Somebody would say, do you mean Enoch? Well, you can say Enoch, but it's Enoch. Um, I don't always remember when you're sewing, keep some moisturizer handy because your skin can go dry. Yes, this is from Sin City Soaps and Candles. This is the Coconut Bay. Oh, and I love it. It's not overpowering. It keeps your 
your skin from being chafed and chapped. And my knuckles have been a little dry, but whose hands don't get a little dry, right? Um, and then I have my heat on. I could put on my heat therapy, but I'm at the machine. And um, so I have my little space heater going and far enough away from everything. So I'm good with that. Um, it's supposed to be in the 70s and the 80s here in South NJ. Uh, oh my gosh. Um, and... It is going to open. I'll message you that later. I checked and see if something was going to be open. Oh, I thought somebody messaged. Oh, okay. Anyway, I'm not worried about that. So, um, that way maybe we can meet up there this summer. I don't know. I'm hoping that the powwow is still going on. I, I know I promised to make my regalia this month. I know, I know. Don't. Don't hate on me for that. Don't hate. Just don't hate on me. Look, I have a shortcut around uh, how to make my moccasins like super quick. Um, it's not going to be like everybody else's mocks because I need that inner support. And maybe I could bring this to the powwow world uh, for people that need that extra foot support. And a new way to style your dance material. Like I said, I was invited to dance at this year's powwow. But it doesn't necessarily mean that I'm going to be able to step into the ring and do such. Now, um, I, I have to work out until then. Um, and also hit the sewing machine a lot. Oh, I, I have a lot of sewing to catch up on. Um, first of all, yes, I have been doing a lot of challenges. Yes, but that I challenge myself to do these challenges. Yesterday I went to do a video and it wouldn't go. It would not go. So when I go to make my regalia, I will tell you those powwow stories again. And, um... To me, when making regalia, um, oh, which by the way, I have to leave the link here for making regalia by Joaquin Lonlodge of the Southern Cheyenne, Southern Arapaho tribe. He is so cool. I love what he does. He had his grandma on with him. Oh, she was so adorable. She's so adorable. Reminds me of the tribe ladies off of the Mission Res. She does. She reminds me of, of some of the, um, the ladies off of the Mission Res in Oregon. And they were just so sweet. And, you know, I had been on that reservation before just to visit. And it was pretty beat down. So, um, not every reservation is, is the same. So people don't get, you know, confused on that. I blend with my chair. Some of this is chair. The rest is me. Um, but yeah. Uh, oh my gosh. I had a story yesterday that would make everybody cry with it. Oh my God, this is so, oh wow. Um, yeah, the kind of life stories that would uh, make you cry. Um, and yeah, definitely, because I, I think about that and I'm gonna cry again because it was so pretty. But we're not gonna do that. So, like I said, I want to know how you feel about my new setup here for uh, filming. I don't have to have you too close when it's all set up. Now, I wish I had the pause button, then we'd be able to switch this around. I am going to try to figure out a new way of a new camera setup. Now, you guys know I have my GoPro, but my GoPro is basically the one that does the, like, uh, bit clips of video 
So I'm going to say about upgrading from that. That will be fine for like, let's say, just go somewhere, go outside to have it clipped on you, you know. Um, which it does have a uh, clip for that. So that when you're outside doing stuff, you can actually just video what you're doing. It has a key fob, which is great. And um, I think Rocco say gives you almost an hour's worth of uh, video on the uh, SD that comes with it. It's micro SD card, but um, it's not bad. It's not a bad quality camera. And I figure, okay, if I'm going to go outside and do something, like let's say go outside and chill, because I have some things coming up this year that uh, I definitely would like to have that while um, I'm outside. Because I plan on having a very interesting, I don't know if you guys, how you guys will feel about this, a very interesting pool party with Sin City Soaps and Candles products. Um, and a few people sitting around the pool with me and we'll just be like sitting in chairs and dip our feet in the pool with uh, a bath bomb and on one video maybe and let me do my video first on this <laughs> um and then on another one maybe some of that uh fairy dust bath bomb or put in a shower steamer just something to relax the feet and at the same time you're taking care of your foot health have some other foot products there and um possibly even do some uh manicures with like everybody has a little table or tray that they could just soak their hands in the little tub in front of them with the uh fairy bath bomb powder in there and get a mani petty at a at a pool party <laughs> that's my kind of pool party that might just sound straight up res <laughs> but you know what it's actually taking care of your health properly and a lot of people aren't gathering to do this a lot of people are like you're locking yourself inside for what what are you doing what are you doing what are you doing quite frankly President Trump just announced he just reopened America <laughs> what are you doing lock inside your governors are keeping you locked inside did you think about that president trump said america's open again it's just a matter of the governors doing what they're told schnapples um yeah they haven't been doing what they're told under presidential order you know if you go against presidential order that is a mark of treason against your country leader just so you know it, it's treason a person can go away for treason and i can't tell you where they go because nope can't tell you where they go just... can't tell you where they go so <laughs> like well maybe that's some sort of Illuminati mystery <laughs> now that was like no that was the eyeliner that I got that was called Illuminati oh yeah hey you guys remember those uh, did I put that back in here no, where, the, where is my tweezers oh no I was going to show you guys those really cool tweezers I got from my last beauty box. And I can't seem to find it. I have to clean around here again. But no, they're really cool. I like them. Oh, there they are. Let me enlighten you. <laughs> Look at that. Like, isn't that fantabulous to say you're over here at the sewing machine and you need to pick something up? 
You don't just have to use these. I'm going to utilize these for my sewing area. So in case some stuff gets stuck in my sewing machine, I have this with the light. Let me show you the path of enlightenment. like optical illusion um but no seriously um i'm going to be using these for my sewing this for my sewing machine does that not make sense that makes sense um i don't pluck my brows um so like i was thinking this would be great for the sewing machine absolutely you get something like this and you need to like pluck something out from there and you, you having a problem seeing and like you have a pair of tweezers like this I can appreciate a product like this I mean look how strong that light is and it's daylight out and I have a light on um, but it's cloudy out there I mean come on even if you have to look in somebody's ear at least you have a small light I'm not putting that in my ear. Um, but you have a small light to work with. Like, where's that bug? Where's that bug? Oh, yeah, where's that bug? Let's blind it. Anyway. <laughs> oh, I have some weird stories, but that's a whole other video. Um, Star stories of the strange. I need to do those again. If you want me to do that, leave a comment. Um, if you like this setup better, leave a comment. Leave a like. Leave a like. Or a thumbs down. You're helping my channel. It doesn't matter. It goes into the analytics. I don't really care. The only thing I do ask is stop giving me death threats. My goodness. My goodness. Some people need some help. Um, <laughs> but if you want to try you go ahead because I got something waiting for that um, that's why I'm still here people that's why I'm still here I may get these stupid threats like Tyler from Secure Team 10 dude I think that we're having the same stalker issue Like, I used to leave comments on his stuff saying, like, dude, are you serious? Look at the pixelation. I used to debunk some of his videos. But you know what? I, I didn't do it in a hateful way of debunking. I'm like, I want you to look over at this part at this timestamp and realize. And he'd be like, uh, like, are you hating? No. I'm appreciatingly showing you what's in that footage and what's what's real what's not you know like too many blinky blinky lights that could be an aircraft of ours or it could be a helicopter of ours and i can't say which ones because that's classified damn you government you took my shit when i was a kid um <laughs> that's a whole other story and also why I passed aerospace engineering really, really, really freaking well. The Army National Guard Armored Tank Division um, in 2002. So, um, yeah, I was a recruit. Um, then I got seriously injured. And uh, that's why I have a problem sitting in this half the time and have to sometimes turn like this. Uh, I, I am working on getting a different chair. Trust me. Trust and believe that that's coming soon. Oh, coming soon. If not this week, it should be next week. The cremated palette and some jewelry. Like, wait, you're adding some jewelry in. Yes. Yes, my friends. Um, so look forward to that. Some of the jewelry I will keep for myself. Some of the jewelry I will be putting in giveaways. Um, but until I get her info or her okay to post her info for it, 
Um, I'm not going to do that. It was one of my giveaway winners, and she sells jewelry. And, um, winner number three. Um, yes. Oh my gosh. Yes. So, I have to get her permission to, like, link that before I can link it. But that'll be a whole other video. So, until then, I would really like to know what you guys think about the newer setup here on that washing instructions for some fabric. Um, that's for when I went to go get my hearts. Yes, that's a plural. Checked. And they're still functioning together. Um, is it strange to have two hearts in your chest? Probably, but you tell me what's actually normal. Is there a normal? Well, look, we're going to go back to normal. But you know, Florida's open next week. I just got word on that. Florida is opening next week. Um... I believe that includes Disney World. I think Disney World will be opening back up. Um, Disneyland already opened. So Disneyland is already open. I wonder if they reopened Knott's Berry Farm. Hmm. What do I have? Oh, wait. Costume drama. Go outside, girl. Go check and see if Knott's Berry Farm is open. <laughs> yes, yeah, so you do that. You go see if Knott's Berry Farm is open. Um, you should. Go outside. Your mom was right, by the way. Girl, your mom was right. And that's why she... Did. Yeah, we're not going into that. If your mom was a nurse and she knows about this whole hypodery, um... Yeah, better listen to your mama. I don't know who my real mama is, but, you know, she was a nurse and knows. I'd be listening to her before these. All right, I'm going to break this down. Hospitals are being paid extra to label everything COVID. You go in there, you can fart, and they say you have COVID. No joke. Um, you could just have an allergy and they're going to name it COVID. You know why? They're getting paid. Paid to keep you scared. So don't be scared. Go freak outside. Go freak outside all the time. Like, no mask. No mask. I go outside. It's like this one song called, um, let's see, what is it called? I gotta think of the name. Take six feet and shove it. Yeah, you should look that up. It's called Take Six Feet and Shove It. <laughs> it's hilarious and I agree with the song, Take Six Feet and Shove It. Come on, people like the chicken pox. We're all exposed to the chicken pox. Chicken pox is more deadly than things smaller than the tip of a sewing needle. Very tippy tip of a sewing pin, okay? How small this thing is, put 10 or more of them on the tip of a sewing pin. It's really not what the news media is trying to make it out to be. And remember, I'm somebody that was supposed to be with the news media, but I'm telling you the truth. Um... So, yeah, go outside and get some freaking air. I went outside yesterday, clean the deck, walk, 
you know, around the house because I had flip flops on. I was walking around the house like very carefully outside the neighbor over here, which is cool. But his wife sells Lulu now. Um, <laughs> I'm not gonna eat on her for that, but it's sweetie. Um, it's a source based income for her, but I certainly wouldn't do it. Um, but yeah, go, just go the freak outside. Look. Jeffree Star, Shane Dawson, Ryland Adams, Morgan Adams are all going outside. What are they doing? They are not covering their face. Come on, Jeffree Star went shopping somewhere expensive and did not have to wear a face mask. Where does he live? California. So I don't want to hear this crap from anybody. And he went to Orange County and... That happens to be where uh, Disneyland is. How do I know this? How do I know this? I've been there. I used to live in California. And uh, I've been in Orange County before. So, like I said, my extra ribs are embarrassing. Sorry. Why I try to wear like certain shirts and stuff. So I haven't worn my, I can't find my corset. So maybe that's going to have to push me into making that one after I make that dress. Um, so basically, yeah, it's all uh, like Jeffree Star can go out in public like that and suck in his front. Y'all have been lied to. Um, and uh, he used to wear a mask. Now he's not carrying a mask around. But bless you, Jeff. Um, but anyway, guys, like I said, let me know if you like this setup better. I keep asking you guys that. Nobody's giving me a definitive answer. Yes, no. I don't, you know. Like, give me an answer here. Come on. I give people answers on their videos all the freaking time. Well, most of the time. I would say all the time. Sometimes I'll watch a video and give a thumbs up. And it's just short and it prompt you, like, answer to one of their things in their video. I do that all the time. Um... But yeah, definitely look forward to, if not by the end of this week, um, next week will be my cremated palette. I stopped by Weirdo. That went out of stock again, even on Beautylish. Um, and uh, yeah, that, that little color went out fast. But I'm not mad at that. I can like, get a... Uh, lip liner and put that on with Drug Lord and the lip color Drug Lord. I'm not a Drug Lord. <sighs> People. Anyway. <laughs> We're going to try to have a fun Monday, aren't we? See, that this is what I mean about my extra ribs. Anyway. Um, so I want everybody to stay happy, stay healthy, stay positive, and as always stay blessed because the videos that I can upload, they had record from my other device. I will try to go ahead and upload, but they're not from today. They're from the last couple of days, yesterday and a few days before that. So it's like those will pop up if I can get them, uh, uploaded. I will do so. So, like I said, stay happy, stay healthy, stay positive, and as always, stay blessed. Because the rest of you need to give me that answer. Do you like this setup better? Um, <laughs> and like I said, I've got a lot of sewing to catch up on. And that's going to happen. And then when I do it, I might do what Viv Mom does and do a sewing show like that. Um, if you guys want me to do that, comment, so and show, say so and show. Okay, see you later.